Hey you all, I hope your day is going great. Today we are going to be working a bit on this project list view. And first of all, we need to go to the view stop pi file. And you can see the project list function here. And we need to capture all of the projects which we already have. So we can set the project underscore list equal to project dot object dot all. And now we want to pass them inside of the render function. with this dictionary. And now instead of the project list.html, we can exit them in our for loop. And as you might remember, this simple snippet is for when we actually don't have any project, which looks like this. And we want to create a for loop for project in project list. And for every project, I would like to spit out some car panels and let's see what we could come up with. Create a row and then a column. I guess we'll make it a... Now oh, we can experiment with that. A small 12 and large 3. And inside of that goes a card panel. And we can spit out an H3, I guess. Which simply says project.title did we create this field? We actually called it name. So make sure it says name. And we of course want to run the for loop for every single column. So let's put that in here. And we also want to take care of the case that there of course are no projects. And this is when this snippet is going to come in handy. And to do this, we are going to simply use the empty tag right after the for loop, still inside of the for loop. And let's refresh. And we, you see that we have three of those. And that's looking better. And then we want to add a hyperlink so we can go to the project page and give it the class button for the nice styles. And the href is going to always lead to the URL with the name of detail, which is this one right here. And then we of course need to pass in the slug, which is the project.slug. And then we want to make sure it says visit. And you see that it's functioning well. And now I want to go back in here and add another nice headline. My projects. And another HR for some more division. And I think that looks good enough for our purposes. Of course, as I said, make sure to play around with this if you want it to look nicer. And now let's add another expense, corporate design. And the amount is going to be 5,000. No, 50,000, 5,000. And for the expense model, we want to declare the meta class and set the ordering equal to minus the amount and then make sure to add a comma afterwards because it's expecting either a tuple or a list and in this case it's going to be a tuple and you see that we have our 5000 up here and our 1000 down below awesome it's working and one more thing that i recognize is that whenever we are hovering on this x you see this cursor that's kind of weird and we wouldn't expect to be able to click on this specific thing. And to change that, we are simply going to go into the project detail.html first of all, and scroll down to where we have our close. Can simply perform a search for close. This one. And for the A, we want to add the class of close icon. And then in the styles.css, we can just scroll down where we have the project detail statistics and the expenses. So let's add it down here, section expenses, and then target the close icon. And we want to target the hover state. So whenever we are hovering over it, we want to set the cursor pointer. 
ok. And you see that we get a nice pointer cursor, where we usually expect to be able to click on something. And this is about it for the main functionality of our application. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below which features you would like to see in this application and I'm going to do my best to include them. So hopefully all of you can learn something and I can learn as well. So yeah, make sure to subscribe to this channel and I hope to see you inside of the next one. Cheers.